Hey everybody, welcome to Quick Tip Thursday. Today what I wanna do is I wanna continue um, with the project I'm working on using a pair of men's jeans to make my new shorts up because I wanna have sort of a funky pair of shorts for the cover of my pattern that I'm working on. And if you saw the post I did yesterday, I did it in pictures, um, you saw that I actually used my pattern to cut out the front of the shorts and if you want to check out the details, I'll link the post that I did yesterday in the post that goes with this one. Um, but anyway, I really, I loved this fly. I loved the buttons, the stitching. I thought it was way cool. I cut the seam allowance off of the center front of my pattern. And then I basically laid it down like this and cut, traced it and cut it out. And what I did was I added an extra half an inch on the side and also on the bottom um, after turning up my hem. So I actually have an extra half an inch that I can sew the um, facing when I hem these later. If I decide to hem them, maybe they'll be cute cutoffs, we'll see. But I finished that part and then I started thinking about the back of the jeans and of course that's not going as lovely and let me explain to you why. Um, here's the back of these jeans and a lot of times when you know, you're working with men's jeans, you'll notice, first of all, I've got these honking huge pockets, okay? And this looks like it's really, really big and I thought I'd have plenty of room to cut out my back pattern piece. When I looked at the back, let me show you why the back isn't working. Um, I folded it in half just to make it simple so you can just see the half leg. Um, if I lay my pattern piece down on it, you can see that I can cut it out and I can almost make it, except my pocket will be really close to the center back and I think that's gonna look funny. And the other thing is my yoke piece will be wider on the side than it is at the center back and I think that would be weird as well. So I really don't wanna use the top portion of these jeans to make my back. All right, so see what happens when you take a pocket off, you end up with this dark, unbleached um, part of the butt. So I can't take the pockets off and use this space either. But the good news is I can take the pocket off and I can use it someplace else. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let me show you what I've come up with. I'll finish taking these pockets off later. I just wanted to show you the reason why it's almost impossible to move a pocket um, unless you're gonna do some sort of embellishment if you're working with the back of a pre-made pair of jeans like this. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna fold it in half, okay? And I'm going to, um, just gonna cut it in half, yeah, right there. All right, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press my seam allowances that I had picked apart. I'm gonna press those flat and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cut out my back legs. So what I did was I pressed my seam allowances flat on the inseam and side seam, and then I sewed my side seams together on the leg pieces. So I took the front piece and the back piece and I just sewed that seam shut. And the cool thing is on these jeans, it was basically a straight edge. It didn't have any shape to it. So it works out perfect for making this new piece of fabric. Right. So the trick to doing um, using these leg pieces to cut up my back shorts is that I want the seam that I sewed to sort of be centered underneath the pocket that will sort of camouflage most of that seam. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sort of make a guide for where my pocket's gonna be. I'm not gonna worry about it being perfectly, um, you know, positioned exactly, but I know I'm usually about two and a half inches away from the center back seam. So I'm just gonna make a two and a half inch guide here. And my pocket usually is one, two, three, four, five, six inches maybe, or five and a half inches. Let's do five and a half inches. You know, and if it's off either way, that's pretty centered. So I know that I want the seam on these jeans to be one, two and three quarters, which would put it right here. So this is where I want my seam to run. 
sort of right there. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna line up the seam on this denim. All right, I'm gonna take advantage of this nice, you know, denim down here that really doesn't have that much going on. And I'm gonna cut out one leg and then I'm gonna cut the other leg out. All right, so I'm just gonna cut this out. Oh, remember, I folded up my facing, so I wanna remember to do that when I cut these out. So I'm just gonna cut it out right here. And then I'm just gonna dash in my hem, because I also wanna add a half an inch. So I'm just gonna add my half an inch. I'm eyeballing it so it matches what I did in the front. Okay, so I've cut that out. Now the beauty of this is I can use this piece to match up and quickly cut out my other side. So I'm gonna lay my other side down like this. And I'm just gonna put right sides together and cut out my other back leg. See how I can very easily just line up that seam so it's symmetrical and I'm gonna cut that out. All right, so now I've got my back pieces cut out and, and the nice thing is, um, I'm, I can play with the pocket. All right, so you can see, I've took, taken the pocket off the back of the jeans and I'm laying it on the back leg of my back short that I just cut out. And you can see, once I you know, get this pocket on there, the seam is not gonna be that noticeable. So I think this is a really good use of the bottom of the leg instead of using the very faded original backside to these jeans. Um, I'm not loving this pocket and I'm just comparing it to my shorts um, my shorts thing and you can see I can fit the whole pattern inside the finished pocket here. So I'm gonna do some playing around. Maybe I'll turn it upside down and, and do it this way because then I can um, get rid of some of the really faded part down here. So I'm gonna play with this uh, over the weekend and show you what I decided on Tuesday. I apologize, I didn't get more of this done today. Um, I have a lot going on. I'm bringing my daughter to college on Saturday and my other daughter started school already, so it's been very busy. But I'm really excited about these shorts and I have to finish them before summer ends and I wanna be able to wear them. So I promise on Tuesday I will have them completely finished and I'll show you everything I decided to do. I do wanna talk about one last thing before I go. I took the waistband off and I totally picked it off because I wanna be able to use this really cool um, button and I wanna use this white leather Buffalo Britain patch and I wanna use this lovely all ready to go buttonhole. So in order to do that, what I'm gonna do I think is I'm gonna cut it in the back and shorten it from there so I can use all these different things. And of course in the background, in addition to making these shorts, I'm also working on the instructions, they're almost done. I realize it's the end of August, but it's been so busy. So I'll have the shorts ready just in time to make them up in wool to wear with tights in the winter. Or, or maybe not, I don't know. I don't know if that's a look for me, but maybe we'll have a warm um, fall and we'll have time to wear them a little bit, but we'll definitely be ready for next summer. So that's a good thing. But in any case, if you have any questions about, you know, using a pair of jeans to make shorts or make, make them into jeans, actually, I've done that as well, um, please post your comments below or you can visit my blog at jsterndesigns.com. Um, and in any case, I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you for Quick Tip Tuesday and I'll be modeling these shorts.